believing that today's spirit little miss naughty by Walter Hargreaves. Are you ever naughty? Sometimes like that. Well, little miss naughty was naughty all of the time. She awoke one Sunday morning and looked out of the window. Looks like a nice day, she thought to herself. And then she grinned. Looks like a nice day for being naughty, she said, and rubbed her hands. That Sunday, Mr. Uppity was out of his morning stroll. Little Miss Naughty knocked his head off his head and jumped on it. My head, cried Mr. Uppity. That afternoon, Mr. Clever was sitting in his garden reading a book. And do you know what that little Miss Naughty did? She broke his glasses. My glasses, cried Mr. Clever. That evening, Mr. Bump was just standing there, minding his own business. And guess what little Miss Naughty did? She ran off with his bandages and bandaged up Mr. Small. He cried. It's difficult to say anything when you're bandaged up like that. Mr. Pity and Mr. Clever and Mr. Bob and Mr. Small were very, 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 very cross. Very, 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 very cross indeed. Oh, what a wonderful Sunday, giggled the little Miss Naughty as she walked along. And it isn't even bad time yet. First thing on Monday morning, the Mr. Man had a meeting. Sometime has, something has to be done, announced Mr. Pity who had managed to straighten out his hat. They all looked at Mr. Clever who was wearing his spare pair of glasses. You're the cleverest, they said. What's to be done about Miss Little Miss Naughty? Mr. Clever thought. He cleared his throat. <coughs> and spoke. I have no idea, he said. I have, piped up Mr. Small. I know what that naughty little daddy needs, he went on. And I know who can do it, he added. What? asked Miss Uppity. Who? asked Mr. Clever. Aha! chuckled Mr. Small and went off to see a friend of his. Somebody who could do impossible things. Somebody who could do impossible things like make himself invisible. I wonder who that can be. Who that could be? Then Monday, Mr. Nosey was asleep under a tree. Little Miss Naughty crept toward him with a puddle of paint in one hand, a paintbrush in the other, and a rather large grin on her face. She was going to paint the end of his nose red. But just as she was about to do the dreadful deed, something happened. Tweet! Somebody tweaked her nose. Somebody. She couldn't see tweet her nose. Somebody invisible. I wonder who. Ouch! cried little Miss Naughty. And dropping the paint and paintbrush, she ran away as fast as her little legs would carry her. On Tuesday, Mr. Busy was rushing along as usual. Little Miss Naughty, standing by the side of the road, stuck out of her foot. She was going to trip him up. Head over heels and heels over head. But just before she did, something happened. Cheek! The invisible nose tweaker had struck again and it hurt. Ouch! cried little Miss Naughty and ran away even faster than her little legs would carry her. On Wednesday, Mr. Happy was at home watching television. Outside, little Miss Naughty picked out a stone, picked up a stone. She was going to break his window, nerdy girl. But as she brought her arm back to throw, guess what? That's right, twig. Ouch! cried little Miss Naughty as she ran off holding her nose. And so it went on all day Thursday, twig. All day Friday, twig, twig. All day Saturday, twig, twig, twig. By which time, little Miss Naughty's nose was bright red. But... By Sunday, she was cured. My naughtiness at all. Thanks to the invisible nose tweaker, on Sunday evening, Mr. Small went around to see him. Hello, Mr. Invis Impossible, he smiled. 
Thank you for helping to cure little Miss Naughty. My pleasure, laughed Mr. Impossible. But it did take a week, Mr. Small grinned. Don't you mean, he said, oh, tweet? Little Miss Naughty, the end.